Whether cardiopulmonary resuscitation should consist of chest compression only or chest compression with pauses for mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathing has lately been a hot debate. Recent studies favor chest compressions only and, of course, challenge the guidelines. The guidelines of 2010 for cardiopulmonary resuscitation allow five seconds to give two breaths to deliver sufficient chest compressions to keep perfusion pressure high. Now in circulation is a study that adds fuel to this fire. The study aimed to determine if the recommended short interruption for ventilation by trained lay rescuers and first responders can be achieved and whether giving breaths has consequence for efficient chest compressions and, of course, survival. The authors studied a prospective data collection of out-of-hospital cardiac arrest and used defibrillator recordings of CPR by rescuers who had received a standard basic life support and defibrillator course. Neurological intact survival to discharge was studied in relation to ventilation periods. Total compressions delivered per minute during each two minutes of CPR and calculated chest compression fractions. What did they find? The great majority of rescuers can give two rescue breaths in less than 10 seconds and deliver at least 70 compressions in a minute. That's okay. Longer pauses for ventilations were not associated with worse outcome. The authors point out that guidelines may allow longer pauses for ventilations without detriment to survival, but remember these were trained personnel. I predict future guidelines will struggle with this issue and that the debate about need for ventilation during CPR will continue. I'm Peter Block and this is a CardioSource Heart Minute.